95%, company approval rating 92%, predicted lifespan 42 years. Wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. Hello everyone, Thrax is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 323, but who's counting, really? Um, so we found the fighter ship that we saw at Terra Nautica, uh, flying in the last episode. Not bad, it's not quite what I'm looking for. It's definitely sharp and sleek, and the A19 plus 4, it's possibly even the exact same one that we saw. Uh, but yeah, it's not... It's not calling to me. It's not speaking my language. Uh, it's speaking a bunch of Corvaxian language, which we know a little bit of, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. It looks pretty sharp, but I think we'll know the one we want when we see it. It'll just be undeniable, right? I think so. I dare say so. All right, well, let's hop back in the Katsadam's coup. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. What's happened? Oh, my. That's not going to be okay. Perhaps we should... Oh, what have we done? We've landed on the edge of a cliff to boot. Okay, well, we had to get that fixed up. That was a little bizarre. Alright, well, now that we've got the, uh, that anomaly uh, straightened up out of the Atlas, let's go ahead and head to the space station and see what exactly... Oh! Oh, hello! Roses in the Thranxian Expanse? Who would have thought? Let's go see if they have a S-module scanner and or miner module, that would be nice, and then I think we'll terminus back to the system we're at and and do a couple of things. Uh, the big thing I want to do before we get any further in exploring the section of the Ice and Tam galaxy where we're at is it was mentioned in the comments uh, that people wanted to see how many nanites I would get for uploading my discoveries. And I think we're at a point now where I'm going to do that, and then we're going to wait because I want to be able to name future discoveries. But I think for now, this is okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Upload all. 4,529 nanites received. I mean, it's not bad. For sure, it's not bad. Not bad at all. What do we have here? A nice A-class pistol type. Pretty cool. Uh, what do we have here? Maybe some... Oh, 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 not the modules we're looking for. Not the droids we're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to the Terminus. At which point we can teleport back to the Etche Exchange. All right. can't remember if we saw anything worth a darn here. I don't think we did. I'm sure we checked, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. The plasma launcher. Oh, man! Sometimes I dream about putting the plasma launcher back on my multi-tool. Then I realize it's a trap. It's really a nightmare, and it's out to get me. And I wake up, and I vow never to do it again. This is a noxious planet, eh? With ancient bones. Hmm. Look at that majestic fleet. Just look at it. 
Majestic it is. Whoa! I think what we'll do hmm, for this episode Let's go ahead and get in the nightmare in space. And maybe do some space anomaly hunting. That's always a good time. Let's see what sort of weird and bizarre things we can find out here. Alright. Prepare pulse engines and jump! Detecting nearby stellar anomalies. Anomaly detected. Ooh. It's a bunch of gibberish. I accept the Atlas's message. And I learn more of the Atlas language. Okay. Let's do another one. Shall we? Perhaps we should end up at the Viridian planet. Oh, another one. Whoa. Hazard containment field. What the heck? So it's got a walker, some aquatic terror, some abyssal horror. Can I blow it up? Ooh. The ominous heart. Oh, it's another one of those cursed items, right? Yeah. Alright, well. I suppose we'll just... We'll just wrap that up. Obviously we weren't meant to get an upgrade. Um... Oh! Hush my mouth about the upgrade. Patience, patience, right? Oh, spewing vents? Ooh. Well, that's... Wait, what? Oh, I have to spend it, right. And then, I would like to upgrade you, please. Oh, yeah, internals evolved indeed. Oh, those spewing vents are going to be so, so mean now. Mm. I just... Oh, delicious. I love it so much. Um, hmm. Okay, well then. call a ship in? I think we do. Let's do it. I'm not really intrigued by the planets here, so I think we'll look for a derelict starship. Yes! As we peer through the through the asteroids at this smashed up ship. Very cool. Let's not back away from it though. Let's go ahead and land. Derelict freighter, you say? Switching to the scatter blaster. Let's do this thing. Oh, repair kits. Oh, yes. Big fan. Huge, huge fan. I wonder if I can remember where I put the other ones. 
I know we put them somewhere. Boom, there we go. All right, let's uh, access docking bay control. Severe incident, total lockdown. I think we should totally unseal the door. Access requested. No turning back. Let's see if we can figure out what happened to this ship. A lot of bad stuff going around. This place is a tomb. Let's go ahead and scavenge. Yeah! Okay, we'll get some good scavenge out of these lockers, cargo containers. We'll get the heat on. What is this over here? This totally looks like something. Uh, some oxygen, sure. Okay, all right. I think we'll go through this door first. Oh, yeah. Little living area here. Got to spin the chair. No. <laughs> Look, it's my new bedroom. <laughs> this is my room now. I'm moving in. It has a swivel chair. Open the door. Ooh, horrific nest. Is that the game we're going to play today? You want me to be quiet? How about if I attack instead? Okay. Maybe you get shot, huh? I mean, we do need to cull creatures, last I checked. You look like a creature to me. Alright, let's see if we can get up close to this thing. Oh, look, it's already taken damage from the... from the pulse spitter. Let's see if we can just scatter blast through the whole nest, rapid fire style. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. You know, I don't want to necessarily advocate for anything goofy, but I bet a plasma grenade would make pretty quick work of those festering nests. Alright, that's nanites received. All right, let's read the log. Extract uh, extract from Watch Officer's Daily Report about discipline. Date stamp, Free Gek Vesoisto, the cargo oversight officer, confined to the brig for unauthorized pressure suit usage. First offense, sentence 44 days. Unauthorized pressure suit usage. What the heck was Vesoito up to? All right, another log. Partial crew equipment record follows. Name specialist D Deke. Specialism cargo loading. A lot of cargo personnel. Personal locker contains dynamo, unmarked pills, wiring diagrams, and assorted personal journals. Last accessed yesterday. Detailed scan reveals contents are coated in acidic residue. All right, well, we got the car uh, security credentials of that duty officer. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so excited for Salvaged Frigate Module. That means we only need two more. Two more! That's really good stuff. Let's not miss any of these blue containers. 
they seem to be a pretty good rate for modules. Alright, let's get these grasping tendrils out of here. Please and thank you. That's right. I want the pulse spitter to ricochet everywhere. Come on. See if you can come after me. Don't be afraid. Come chase me into the other room. You can do it. Oh. It's like a shooting gallery. Who's left? Making little creepy noises on the floor? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Lots of living slime. Oh, let's go see what's in the log. Partial cargo manifest follows. Self-repairing heridium, reconstructed proto-geck organs, dihydrogen jelly, unmarked biosecurity grates. Security crates, cargo alert active. Ooh. Ooh, 68 of them, no la no doubt. Hmm, seems like that would have set off some alarms uh, with all the cargo monitoring officers on board the ship. Maybe they smuggled them aboard. Hmm. What was Gek Vesoito really planning? We're going to have to dig a little deeper to solve this mystery, I think. Let's see what's on this log. Data extracted from the medical bay logs. Assistant Urtrat, AI security, presented with unexplained pustules. Outbreak continues to progress through the crew. Total case is 34%. Hmm. So it said there were synthetic gek organs? Seems to me like the Gek had some weird ulterior motive going on on this ship. And apparently it's run amok. Do you beat do you, do you go to the beat of your own drum? Cuz that's that sounds like a like a kick drum. Don't mind me, I'm just surgically removing this festering abomination. Oh, Scatter Blaster, don't fail me now. Boy, they sure spread around the room really fast. They're like roaches. Once you shine the flashlight on them, they just go all over the place. Come back here. The way they scamper and skitter around off on the walls and ceilings, it's a little triggery. Hey, what the? Oh, you wait. I'm coming for you. I think the Scatter Blaster is still numero uno. Maybe second only to the Plasma Grenade. I think we're going to have to get the Plasma Grenade back, though. In my heart of hearts, I know we'll have to. I miss it too darn much. I just, I really do. Let's see what the log says. Research log follows. Ground crew collected creature blood while on mission. Performed attack vector survey. Observation sample accidentally destroyed. Backup sample requested. Was it destroyed? Or was it smuggled on board the ship? By the Gek. I'm not really trying to blame the Gek for everything, but they definitely seem to have an agenda on board this ship. Captain's eyes only, pre-flight crew appraisal, drudge room jill, specialist medical, 
Empathy, 10%. Oof. Of your medical personnel? Yikes. <laughs> Persuadability, 96%. Disease resistance, 25%. Company approval rating, 92%. Predicted lifespan, 42 years. Wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. You're telling me the medical officer has no empathy and is easily persuaded and that increases its company approval rating by 92%. <laughs> so the comp what you're saying is the company really values medical personnel with no empathy towards life and they're easily persuaded by upper politics. Oh, addendum. Captain's personal notes. Acquired a, a wide acquired a range of exotic creatures at local market during stoppage. We'll turn a blind eye for now. Oh. Oh, see? And they they bought they brought it on board the ship because the cargo personnel allow Oh, it's a conspiracy. They're working together for some reason. Alright. Engine destruct codes, AI log, crew manifest. Let's get the crew manifest. Crew status as of last shipwide bioscan. Commanding Officer Captain Tinau, Duty Officers Petty Officer Uldagi, Cadet Noker, Lieutenant Sigra. Crew status, crew first class, crew second class, supernumeraries, shift gek Avusad, specialist boy Gru, and help gek Tivarls. Alright, well, let's update that scan because I'm thinking not as many people still on board the ship. No detected biological trace matches crew records. Retrieving last known crew positions. Captain is always in a redacted area. Petty officers in waste disposal pipe. Wait. <laughs> in the waste disposal pipe? Ugh, their remains were. Gosh. Cadet Node Corps escape pod. Four day. Oh, maybe they got away. Lieutenant Seagra in the medical bay. Probably trying to reprimand that medical officer. You always bring you always bring backup when you're going to confront the the villain who suspected you know brought aboard suspicious biological matter at the last planetary stop. Ooh, vibrating curios. Thousand years old. Okay, what's the value on that? What's the market value? Half a mil. I'll keep it. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and read the log and see what we get. Uh, data previously recorded. Whoops. All right, well, we can go into this little room here. Expedition event log follows. Arrived in Viking-controlled space. Local station received fleet with full honors. Banquet lasted several days. Valuable gifts and trade data acquired. Afterwards, attempted trade in the Victor Ugil system. Local economy too weak for profitable trades. After that, purchased mineral ores on planet Kotan 68 Alpha 9. Hostile agents boarded the ship during loading. Set fire to purchase material reason unknown. Internal systems severely damaged. Oh, the locals knew about the biological matter that the medical officer brought on board, and so they were trying to burn the cargo to stop it from being removed off the planet. The only thing is, it damaged the ship's internal systems, which likely would have hindered their ability to control the outbreak once it started. Plus... The medical officer was the one examining people who were breaking out with pustules, and they're also the one who brought on board the questionable biological containers. What I'm not sure of is why the cargo master Gek allowed that material to exist with an active biological hazard warning alerted to the container. Seems like there's a little bit more to the story that we have yet to get. Alright, let's continue our lancing efforts here. There we 
we go. That's right. Now we're going to pull back. And just try to cycle them this way. We have ricochet rounds and a very upgraded pulse spitter. All right, we're doing okay. Lucky for us, everything has trouble getting past six shield modules. Well, that's partially why I want to push our capability a little bit by breaking three of them at once. The thing is, they're just they're just parasites. They don't really have a a tactic to swarm all at once, and they're not trying to actually break the suit open or anything, so. You know what we need to do, actually? Let's make a little bit more projectile ammunition. Mid-fight, that's right. I wonder if I can come up and just melee them. Okay, we've almost got them all. I heard you. I heard you. That's right. You better run. Little creepy crawlies. Better run. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. All right, well, let's salvage these containers. We absolutely want to get all of the goodies available here. Even if they're Corvax conversion cubes. Oh, we have a log. Data extracted from medical bay logs. See, it comes back to that medical officer. Drudge hag navigation presented with acid burns. Symptoms indicated parasite present. Disinfected immediately. Case number 63. Chance of recovery 34%. And the acidic residue was covered all over the contents of that person's locker. The only thing we don't know is if it was intentional, but why? Why would it be intentional? I suspect the captain's log will tell us what we need to know about that. Let's see what this log says. Uh, sterilization officer presented with bone decay administered fluids log shows 18 similar cases this voyage was it a bio weapon it was just full blown it was just running rampant across the ship like everybody was feeling the adverse effects of it Make sure we open all these containers. Ooh! Pile of timeless teeth. Crawling with insects and haunted by a musty aroma, this treasure is nonetheless an artifact of great worth. Where are we sitting with this? Um, I think we'll start to... Actually, you can go to the freighter. What have we back here? What's what secrets are you hiding? Aha. Uh -huh. More salvage. Salvage tra la la. Storage unit. Mm, unstable canisters. Let's let's leave those be perhaps.
Okay. Not bad. We've mapped eight out of ten zones. We're pretty much ready to crack this mystery wide open, I dare say. Let's make sure we got these lockers, which I think we did. <laughs> I'm pointing. What? <laughs> no, no. That is... Oh, can I not? Oh, I want to... <laughs> I wanted to point and then take a picture. I felt like that was a rose by accident. A rose by any other name. These are the cargo containers right here. This is them. Alright, let's go to the next room. Okay. Lots of living slime. You know, we should just be processing it, really. Truly, we should just... Wait. Oh, we already... Oh, yeah, look at that. 400 nanites. That's cool. Yep, okay. Uh, actually, no, we need more fuel on that. Uh-huh. The horrific nest. Oh, I was hoping that was an unstable container. I was going to see if I could blow them all up. Pustules everywhere. We are diagnosing the crew with pustules. There's pustules on the ship. Whoa. I thought that was a really big one at first. For about half a second, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the queen. We found the queen. Get off my teleporter now. That's that's not how that works. Hello. All right. A lot of projectile ammunition. I suppose that's a good thing, maybe. Here we go. Extract from Watch Officer's Daily Report. Discipline. <sighs> Trader Sotu of the Navigation, confined to the brig for gambling. Offense number six. Additional punishment. Subskin chip inserted. Hmm. So they're trying to chip people. Hmm. Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report for free geck up PEV, the warp drive maintainer. Personal bioscan last detected eight days ago in error, multiple locations. 35 others present. Biometric readout indicates entity abruptly terminated. No further life signs. But they were... They were, like, spreading? Or the biological infection was carrying pieces of them with it? Maybe? That's a little creepy. Let's see what the captain's log has to say. Captain's DNA required. Um, pretty sure the captain is deceased. <laughs> Input accepted. Duty officer may take command. I'm currently Cadet Nodcor, as far as you're concerned. Please, read me the log. Welcome. Log will record you as temporary commander. I'd like to read the captain's log. On shore leave, the whole crew went swimming in the acid sea of Hederax. 
We have become so much more. We see with so many eyes, so many hearts. I always loved the water. Afterwards, beyond the end of all things, there is glass. Even a child knows this. Mine did. They became a priest. They grew beloved to Atlas, recruiting followers from Balaron to Lost Dolores. Time is not, has taught me this. There is always a way. I will find them. I dreamt of water. It's how it always begins. Do you still believe in the light of the infinite? Do you still believe there is any saving you? There are 16 minutes till I die. I will find my child. I will find peace. Okay, well, obviously, there was a good bit of corruption going on. And this biological entity that took over the ship also seems to have made everybody go swim in these horribly acidic pools. Hmm. I don't think we need this for 12,000 units. Or these rep items. Or this unstable plasma, really, if you want to get down to it. I'll take that. I'm sure these really big containers are full of whatever took over the ship, but I just want to open them. I just want to open them and see. Oh! No, you can go away. Same with you. Just cleaning out these ships one at a time. Quantum accelerator. That's not bad. Look, they were studying them. Those are the things with the cargo warning. I feel like if a biohazard warning is going off on your cargo, you should probably honor it. I mean, this is space, for crying out loud. When did people become so cavalier about aliens exerting biological hazard warnings? Let's see what the log says. Captain's eyes only. Partner get Gasaic. Internal security. Mechanical aptitude 61%. Disease resistance, 30%. Adaptability, 17%. Company approval rating, meh, under half. Predicted lifespan, lifespan, 16 years. Studies the charts at night. Thinks I didn't notice. Hmm. Sounds like maybe they were trying to solve something. Location tracking report for Craft Gek Ducerid. Personal bioscan last detected four days ago in the records room. Three others present. Biometric readout indicates increasingly violent behavior. Obviously in some argument over the charts. It seems like some of the crew noticed that the captain had diverted them off of their normal trade route to head to these acid waters of Hederix following the biological infection on board the ship, and some people tried to stop them. Hmm. Alright, engineering control panel. Let's... Okay, so. Here's my thought process. Here's my thought process. I want to start stocking up freighter bulkheads for when we inevitably get our S-Class freighter because that's what we're going to be doing soon. But, but, before we do that, we need to find a derelict freighter that gives S-Class technology modules. Because as I understand it, while the technology module may vary each time that you run the same derelict freighter in a system, the class of the module does not. So until we find an S-Class technology module here in the Isentam Galaxy, we're just going to continue to go ahead and check technology upgrade. Until we find an S class. And we got a B class. Um, exploration abilities of your fleet. I mean. Sure. We might as well just for fun. I don't have a problem with it. Not yet, anyways. We'll... 
Yeah, see, we'll get we'll dismantle them later at a later date when that's when that's a thing. Okay. And with this ship being done, let's exit the emergency airlock and go sell these items at the local space station for some nanites. And then I think we'll be on our way to a new system. Whoa, look out. Space station is right over there. Got it. Well, looking at the time, though, I think we're going to have to make the sale in the next episode. It's not Friday yet. But until next time, take care.